What happens once you're exposed to a toxicant? ADME, A-D-M-E, because absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion are the four key steps that are going to be crucial to whether or not something has a biological, uh, biological activity on your body and uh, how it's going to uh, affect your, your body. And these are also going to be the key intervention points where as chemical designers, as green chemists, you'll want to say, hold it, if I can keep it from being absorbed, then it won't be toxic. If I ensure that it's going to be excreted rapidly enough, then it might not be toxic. This is of primary importance in oral inhalation and dermal exposures. So think of some of the ways that a, a substance can enter your body. What are some of the ways that a substance can get into your body? Please. You can eat it. You can ingest it. It's going to cross your, your GI membranes. Well, how else can it get into you? Yeah. You can breathe it in. Uh, and so if something doesn't have an, uh, any appreciable vapor pressure and it doesn't form a vapor, you can't inhale that in. What other ways can it get into you? Skin absorption. Skin absorption, yeah. So different, uh, different membranes that can uh, transport across uh, dermal membranes, across the eyes. So it's the rate of absorption and the extent of absorption uh, of bioavailability. Bioavailability is crucial. Okay. One example we give is uh, ethanol. It's, um, it's readily absorbed through the GI tract, but it's almost not absorbed at all through the skin. So when you start thinking about how do I possibly manipulate a molecule so that it is not able to be um, uh, bioavailable, not able to be absorbed into my, into my body, you start needing to know what are the properties of, uh, of the skin? What are the properties of the lungs? What are the properties of my GI tract that is going to allow or not allow a chemical to get in and cause damage. Absorption, crucial. Volume of distribution is the apparent volume of a drug, uh, a drug or a toxicant that, um, that distributes throughout your, uh, throughout your body, uh, body, whether it's blood, plasma. Um, and so it's one thing if, say, I ingest uh, something. So it's in me, and it goes right through and gets excreted out. That's not the same as it being distributed into my blood and serum and being able to uh, spread throughout. So distribution, the ability to be distributed is crucial. Metabolism. Okay. So when, uh, when these chemicals go through your body, go into your body, they likely have a, um, uh, a very good chance of being um, transformed. They're going to undergo biotransformation. They're unlikely to remain in the same form in your body. You have all kinds of uh, uh, enzymes, stomach acids, all kinds of things meant for digestion and, and, and breaking things down, right? The products of metabolism are known as the metabolites. So this becomes important for a variety of reasons. One is, if you have a molecule and you look at it and you say, hmm, that molecule looks like it might not be uh, bioavailable or it might not be toxic because of X, Y, and Z, but you see that it is going to be easily transformed into another metabolite, and that metabolite is very toxic, very bioavailable, then all of a sudden, Saying that, that the parent compound is non-toxic becomes irrelevant, becomes trivial. You've just deemed something to be non-toxic when you know that it comes in contact with, uh, with stomach acid, it's transformed into another molecule and that stuff is, is extremely toxic. When you look at the primary uh, excretion organs, you're going to um, uh, want to know, is this something that is going to be easily uh, excreted because, of, again, one of the key things is water solubility. I'll re be returning to, to physical chemical properties. Um, whether or not something is 
very water soluble and hence easily excreted. Maybe it's very fat soluble and so it will um, maybe be more likely to transport across biological membranes. So making something more easily excreted um, uh, but also uh, it can be excreted, sweat, tears, milk, lungs, 